here with the Minister of Music, Pastor Tommy Harris of New Life Worship Center. How are you? I'm great. How are you, ma'am? I'm fantastic. Now, I just saw your wonderful high energy performance. Now, how do you generate so much energy throughout your group and, and throughout the audience as well? Well, ma'am, it's just about just what God has done for each one of us. I think we all have a, um, a testimony, and so when we bring all that together, we can't help but give God praise, and God deserves the best praise out of all of us. Amen. So you've been with New Life since, it's, since the beginning. How did you come to be the Minister of Music? Wow, that's a great question. Um, the church was planted by um, Eastern Star, and um, Pastor Ramsey, I've been knowing Pastor Ramsey for about 14 years. His wife is from the same town from, and he called me, and asked me to be his minister of music. Out of every all these great musicians in this city, um, he called me from a little town called Elyria, Ohio, to come out to be his minister of music. So I, it's been an honor to be part of this great ministry. Well, sounds wonderful. Now you have new projects, new products out. How can we find them, and can you describe them for us? Yes, ma'am. We have a project out. It's called the um, Pastor John F. Ramsey presents um, New Life Worship Center Praise with a Purpose. We're on iTunes, Amazon. It just we just released it last month, and so we're very excited. Indianapolis is doing a great job supporting us, and um, so you can you can visit us on www.newlifeindy.org, and it takes you right to iTunes, and you will be blessed by the project. I will pass to Tommy Harris. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me. with icindymag.com and I'm here at the Gospel Explosion with Randy Weston of Judah Band. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Now Randy, you are known, Judah Band is known as a high energy group. Can you describe your music, your musical influences to us? Well, it's a kind of a pop uh, rock type uh, style of music that we do, a genre we do, Christian pop rock. So yes, yeah, a lot of high energy. Um, we want to give God all that we have, all of our limbs, all of our members, everything about us. We try to uh, give it to God and give Him the best that we have every time we're in front of His people. They deserve the best. That's right. So how long has your group been together and, and where did you start? I think we've been together going on four years. Uh, and we just started off just like everybody else. Everybody else's group, a uh, bunch of us friends have gotten together and we've created this sound that people tend to, seem to love, but to God be praised. But it's been about four years. That's fantastic. Now, what's next for, for you, Randy Weston, personally, and then the group? What, what direction do you want to take? For me, I'm just doing whatever God says to do in my own life as, as it pertains to the, to, to the group. We have several different things that are coming up. Uh, we do have uh, Live Out Loud, uh, which is a live DVD shoot and recording that's going to be held this uh, in, in the next few months. We haven't announced the exact date yet, but you got to look out for it. Live Out Loud is coming. It's coming. Will it be in stores? Will it be in theaters? It'll be in stores right now. Uh, we'll, we're going to uh, we're going to shoot that right now. The only product that we do have is Search and Rescue, Judah Band Search and Rescue. You can get that online, and uh, it should be in some Christian bookstores as well. So uh, you can get that Judah Band Search and Rescue. All right, Randy Weston, thank you so much. I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me. And I'm here with Keytron Pascal of the MIME group, Living for Jesus. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Yourself? I'm great. Now, your group has been together how long, and how many members do you have in your group? Um, we have three members right now. Uh, we've been together, actually. Um, well, LFJ's been established for 11 years. Um, it started off as a young um, male gospel MIME group. Um, <clears throat> ended up with me for a couple of years by myself, and then... Uh, me, my cousin, and my uncle actually um, formed a group again, and we've just been going strong. Us three been together for about three years so far. So what, what influenced you as far as mime 
uh, gospel mime in particular? Um, influence was just something different to do um, in the church because, you know, a lot of people praise Lord, you know, with um, preaching or teaching or playing the instruments in the church or something like that. And we like the whole dramatic, you know, we're dramatic regards. And it was just something that caught up, caught our attention with um, K and K Mime. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them, but um, we seen them on BET one day and that like really, that really drawed us in. And, and it was something different. I don't think Fort Wayne, you know, actually seen that in the church. And that's what we brought to Fort Wayne and we trying to, trying to bring it, you know, and spread it throughout the world. So. So you're in Fort Wayne. So how do you spread it throughout the world? Do you have videos? Do you travel? We 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 actually traveled a lot. We was on Bobby Jones. Um, we just left Bobby Jones um, a couple of months ago. Uh, we was on that on the, on this network. Uh, we do have DVDs. Uh, we have um, a couple of videos on YouTube. Um, LFJ Mime. If you want to type that in YouTube, you can check us out there too. And we got it. We have an up and coming uh, website. It's not finished yet but when it will be done we will let you guys know all right so okay what are new future projects for living for jesus are you do you have anything coming up right now um after the uh um, gospel explosion here we have another performance down in um it's back in nap in, in indianapolis and it's at uh greater north star um october 20 something but <laughs> but we will be back here so okay now i've always wanted to learn mime can you teach me how to say goodbye in mime how to say goodbye. let's say goodbye to our, our audience in mime okay okay you say it i do it okay goodbye <laughs> <laughs> follow me <laughs> Right here, I felt like Daniel and I had been. 
Jerome and the Daddy of the Whale, Shadrach, Meshach, and a big Negro up in here. I'm telling you right now, I did, I did not deserve this. <laughs> and really, but if you can keep your lips from moving, we might be able to fool me. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't talk while I'm talking. Don't worry, you ain't that good. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you situated. I don't need you to get me situated. I'm straight. Let me sit up here today. Stop touching me, then. Don't be touching on me. That's all right. No, it ain't all right either. I'm praying against that spirit right there. I rebuke that spirit right there. <laughs> and I'm here with Willie Brown, a ventriloquist Willie Brown, and comedian Willie Brown. Willie, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm blessed. Now, and what was that you were showing up? This is my new DVD called Willie Brown and Woody Comedy for Your Soul. You can get it from our website, WillieBrownandWoody.com, baby. That's right. Just, just, just Google the Black Ventriloquist. You'll find us. Oh, okay. Just Black Ventriloquist. Yeah. There's not many people doing what I'm doing, especially doing uh, Christian, Christian gospel comedy. I mean. And, and you know what? You are hilarious. And not too many people can make me just like outright laugh. And you did. You made me laugh. How'd you, how'd you get started? Well, I started out um, in magic. I used to do magic tricks when I was a kid. I was just amazed by the art of illusions. And um, the TV show Soap came out. When I was a kid, it was a, uh, Robert Guillaume was Benson, Danny, uh, Billy Crystal was on there, and they had a guy named Jay Johnson. He was a ventriloquist, and he would come out each week with his puppet, and they went by the name of Chuck and Bob, and every week his puppet would, would Joan on the other family members, and I, and I loved it. He would steal the show. And he wouldn't take the blame for it, would I know, he? Would. I told my mother, I said, I want to be a ventriloquist, so she bought me my first puppet for a Christmas present. Um, I toured with um, Shelly Grass Beauty Shop. This, uh, over the last couple of years, I've been opening up for Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns. That's what I've been doing. God is You're good. You're pretty busy. God, God is busy. good. Just came back from um, from overseas. I just did Japan, Korea, Singapore for the Army, Navy, Air Force, and the Marines. Wow. Yeah. I bet they rolled. They, they love you are so funny. But they have so much stress over there. They need to laugh, you know. Yeah, and there's stress here too. So yeah. you you help you help us. Now, what's coming up for you? What kind of future projects do you have? Well, right now uh, I'm working on a tele. Uh, uh, actually, I'm working on a uh, radio a radio show, which is going to be launched on the internet. So people say if ventriloquist on the radio, I don't, I, I, I can't see it. Well, no, of course you can't see it. You can't see anybody on the radio. <laughs> but you have the face for radio, though. Well, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Who does your material? Okay, <laughs> leave the jokes to me. All right, no, no, you're right. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna lead in to uh, my own little television show. We're working on some just, just the right kind of format. I'm doing some stuff in Atlanta right now, but I'm believing that there's gonna be something on a national scale. So we're working on that. I also started a foundation called Youth Youth Dream Builders. You can uh, find find us on Facebook, Youth Dream Builders. We're out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and it's for underprivileged kids. We're helping them. We're mentoring them, and that's where my heart is right now. But I, I'm doing my thing. I've been doing it for a long time. But when do you when do you get back? You know what I mean. So this is my time. You know. So that's what I'm doing. Well, congratulations on everything, and you're newlywed. Yes, newlywed. Uh, my wife is funny. She's so spiritual. She puts these spiritual messages on Facebook when I go out of town. Like uh, there's no temptation that, that known to man. You know, I'm like hold it, baby, hold it, hold it. Is this for me? She said, "Thou shalt not uh, commit adultery. But flee from the devil, and uh, he'll no, you resist the devil, he'll flee from you." I said, "Baby, hold it, hold it, hold it." Now these messages for me. She said, "He who have an ear, let him hear." <laughs> <laughs> so she's a beautiful woman, beautiful woman. She's the master's mime. She's a mime. She, that's how she operates. And she never gets mad at me. She just mimes. We don't really have we don't have real arguments. Ven ventriloquists in a mime, you know. Very quiet in your house. <laughs> well, thank you so much.
and I'm here with two of the members of the Brown Brothers family. I'm here with Curtis Brown and Dennis Brown. How are you fellas? Are we good? How are you doing? Blessed. I'm doing great. Well, this is a fantastic show this evening. Now, let me know, let me, I want you to tell the audience a little bit about the group and how it got started. We'll start with you, Curtis. Okay. Like she said, we are the Brown Boys and we're from Freeport, New York. We are brothers. It's my, I'm Curtis. This is Dennis. We're missing Wooly and Joe. Um, and we have been singing. I know we look young, but we have been singing for 30 years. God has kept us. We started out, mom and dad invested a lot into us, and, and, and we're still doing it. We're working. We're, we are blessed that we have preachers in the group. I'm a minister. My brother Dennis, my oldest brother Wooly is a deacon, and Joe is a deacon. So we're blessed and we're highly favored. Uh, we are a member of the Black Smoke music worldwide and uh, we do have a new single that's about to be released on the Brown Boys. It's featured on the Gospel Mix 5 which is in your stores now. You can go to your Best Buy, your Walmart and the song that's featured on the Brown Boys is called Better Days. In spite of what we are going through right now with the recession and the economy, we as God people, we know that better days are coming. All right, so what's in the future for your better days for you? Oh, well, for me, uh, better days just higher heights, knowing that God's going to do greater and better things for us. And we believe that and we receive that. So that's in our future for us, for me and the Brown Boys. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it. You. Be thank blessed. You. God bless. I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me.
phenomenal gospel artist Dietrich Haddon. Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today? It's so good to be with you, Faith. You're doing it real big, and that's, I'm, I'm excited to be here with you. I must be big because I'm here with you. No, oh, no, we serving a big God, you know. Well, you know what? That make us all big. We doing it big. That's right. Now, I must admit, I, I love your music, but what I really, really appreciate about it is that the person such as, as myself, who may have been hurt by people in the church, by situations in the church, can listen to your music and let the guard down. Is that your intent? Absolutely. I mean, the music, I think music should restore people. It should heal people. Music has power. And uh, I make it my business to put that healing anointing in there and put that love in there. I want people to feel all these different virtues uh, when they listen to my music. And uh, I get a lot of testimonies across the board from people being delivered, set free, being healed, uh, coming out of drug addictions, uh, different addictions, just because they felt that power and that love and sincerity uh, that, that flows through the music. It certainly does. Now, I know you have some history here in Indianapolis. Can you Absolutely. tell us about it? I, this is my stumping ground, see? right here. Some I can't tell you how, how many years ago because I'll give you my age, but I started my whole music business, my whole music career rather, here in Indianapolis with Ty Scott Records. Uh, Ty Scott Records, uh, Dr. Scott, Dr. Leonard Scott, and uh, my good friend Bryant Scott. We've been in business for quite some time. And, uh, and I really commend them. They're upstanding people. We've been in business for a long time. We've been doing a lot of these records that you hear. We've been doing it for quite a while. Now we're doing movies together. And so uh, that was a God connection some years back. But uh, I used to come to Indianapolis all the time to record in their studio. I did maybe the first uh, two records here in Indianapolis. So as one actor to another, was your you movie... I act too. You go, girl. I've got an uh -huh. online soap opera. you got to check it out. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You'll wow. love it. But, but, but was creating the movie what you expected? How was that experience for you? It was awesome. It was a dream come true. Some years ago, I was praying. I ain't trying to be deep. I'm just telling you the truth. I was praying, and God told me that people would sing my songs, and that was before I connected with Ty Scott Records, and he told me I'll be able to get these movies out and tell these stories, and I didn't, I didn't know much about movies other than paying my $10 to go sit down and watch a movie, but uh, I held on to that promise. I would write these stories and get these ideas, and I would write them down and jot them and put them away on the shelf and say, one day, when the opportunity presents itself, I'm, I'm going to be one of the first artists to bring a platform this platform to gospel music and get other gospel artists to be a part of this you know a lot of people don't know we're we're multi-talented we're not just singers we can act right. most singers can act because right. you have to be able to perform on stage and so uh, I'm excited to be one of the first to a uh, Ty Scott Records along with Ty Scott Records and I uh, to bring this platform to gospel music we just finished a new film that's coming out uh, for Christmas um, it's gonna be I don't think I should reveal all everything but it's called a beautiful soul and it will be out in, on DVD, I believe, is around Christmas time. You'll be able to get the soundtrack. So if you've been blessed by Blessed and Cursed uh, in, in, in any way, you're going to love this movie, A Beautiful Soul. And don't be alarmed because I'm really stretching out there with my acting. It's going to be a great movie. You're going to love it. I look forward to seeing it. Now, what, what do you have for the future? Anything coming up besides your movies? Well... I'm excited. To, I'm really getting into these movies now. We, we're getting ready to do it on a bigger level. And so that's what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe Ty Scott will be able to announce it mm -hmm. soon. Uh, so that's that's going to take up most of my time and doing the music to those. And, and the beautiful thing about doing the mu music soundtracks to the movies is I'm able to express myself and expand a little bit outside of the same, uh, out of just uh, the four walls of the church. Mm -hmm. I'm able to really express my music and love and emotions, capture the emotions in these songs because they have to go in the scenes for the movie. So uh, where I haven't been able to really express myself, uh, uh, now I'm able to really express myself. You know, so. You've been bitten by the acting bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's so wonderful to talk to you. I wish Thank you, you Faith. continued success. God bless you Keep and, your, and your ministry. Yes, and so I can hold on to my faith. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. I'm Faith McKinney. Follow me.